What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today is gonna be a very exciting but also nerve-wracking day all at the same time. And the reason why it's gonna be a nerve-wracking day is because we're adding an H-pipe on the car. And I don't even know how it's gonna sound or how great or how horrible it might sound. So that's the very nerve-wracking part about this, but I am very excited to throw it on all at the same time too, because I'm expecting to sound a little bit more deeper and a lot more grumblier. But who knows? I couldn't really find too many options over on YouTube of the exhaust setup that I have. Actually, I couldn't find anything that matched my exhaust setup, but I found stuff that was very close. Now, what I found that was a key to possibly, possibly making this car sound good was keeping the stock cats. If you add high flowing cats on here or delete the cats at all, then it turns very, very, very raspy. That's what I've seen from forums and also on YouTube as well. Now I have not experienced this in person, so I don't know how loud it's gonna be. I'm hoping it's not too crazy loud. I'm hoping to keep it toned, and I'm also hoping that it sounds a little bit more deeper. Now, Keep looking, you'll find someone who cares. Now I understand this is not gonna be like a V8 or anything like that. I'm not expecting it to sound like a V8, but I want it to sound at least a little bit deeper and eliminate that rasp as much as I possibly can. Now from the research I have done, what I have experienced though is that putting BBK shorty headers on your car does make a big difference on this. Now, I don't have BBK headers. I actually have eBay shorty headers, which is almost very similar, pretty much identical to one another with the exception of different brands and probably a different material. But right now I'm running the eBay shorty headers with stock cats. And I plan on keeping the stock resonators right after the cats as well. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm trying to eliminate as much rasp as I possibly can. And also at the same time too, I'm not trying to have a trumpet driving down the road. <laughs> And so from there, it's just gonna be a stock exhaust all the way through with the exception of that brand new H-pipe that we're gonna be putting on. And also we have Flowmaster mufflers. Now, I don't know the exact model of the Flowmaster mufflers. I mean, when I ended up putting this exhaust on the car, I ended up having an exhaust shop doing it and they chose it out. I forgot what the model was. If I could find it out, I'll put it in the description down below. This is gonna be super, super exciting. I'm really hoping to experience a really great sound. And if it does sound horrible, I really don't know what route I'm gonna go. I'm really, really, really hoping that this thing sounds good because if it doesn't sound good, then we're gonna have some big issues because they're only open Monday through Friday. And I work Monday through Friday and today I was able to get a day off. So really hoping that this works out the first time. Hopefully no check engine lights come on, which I don't think there will be because we're keeping the cats everything like that but you never know i've had weird experiences with many different things already but other than that let's get into some exhaust clips i want to show you guys exactly what this sounds like now so you guys know what to expect when we get the new one So again, that exhaust setup is eBay shorty headers with stock cats, stock resonators, stock exhaust all the way through with the exception of the Flowmaster mufflers. And all we're doing in exchange is putting that H pipe on there. So other than that, let's get on our way there. let you guys know what this car sounds like we're gonna do a couple pulls from the inside of the car so this might be the very last time that i actually punch on the gas with the same exhaust setup currently now i do like the exhaust setup i have i like the grumble that it gets when you start really pushing into the higher rpm range especially with this muffler that i have on here but when you start revving in park it just sounds like complete hell in my opinion but when you really start getting on the gas the thing can actually sound really really good Which one thing that's nice about this exhaust though that I have is I like when you like when you desell off of it, you can feel like a t tiny pop that you can't hear. Like you can only feel it when you're in the car, but if you're outside the car, you probably can't hear it at all. So when I'm in here and I feel that little crackle and pop a little, it kind of gives me that sense of like this 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 shit cool. I ain't gonna be I'm be honest with you. But um, I'm really hoping with this H pipe that I can really expose that pop that I am feeling in the car. So when I do desell or when I do downshift on this very thick automatic that I have right here that you can actually hear the exhaust you can really tell there an H pipe put on the car. The exhaust shop just finished the exhaust. My car is right here on the side. Nate ended up picking me up and we just went on some chores. He babysitted me for the day. And I've been telling this whole time that I'm like, dude, my heart is racing because I'm like more worried and expected the worst than I am for the best. And he was telling me, he's like, just expect the worst so when the best comes, you'll be more happy. So we're about to find out right now how 
bad this could be or really how good this be but i'm excited to show you guys this whole process nate's gonna start up the car for me once we get everything going everything paid for and you guys will get the first reaction right. yep go <laughs> give it a little revs It's still good, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's still raspy, but it doesn't sound as tin candy. No, I think it's the muffler, if anything, but dude, that sounds good in my opinion. I'm, I like it. This was sick. I couldn't have done this without Nate. Nate was a big help for me because honestly, I would have been sitting in this building for another two and a half hours if it wasn't for him. This was awesome. I'm so excited to do this. We're gonna give you guys a couple drive bys. I wish I could show you guys under the car, but I sit really kind of too low to be honest with you. I'm still kind of shaking a little bit. I mean, like, it still it sounds good, it's kind of the same but it sounds a little bit more deeper, modern tone. So it's kind of cool. We're about to find out exactly how it's going to be when driving. So that's going to be the biggest test. So we're going to go from there. We're going to head on our way home and see how this is like. Needs a muffler. So that's going to wrap for today's video guys and i do want to emphasize that the quality in person compared to on the video is a little bit different i did realize that when watching it on video it made it a little bit more raspy compared to in person when hearing it in person it did sound a little bit more deeper you can't really tell from the original exhaust setup that i had from the new one that i have now with the h pipe because the original one was like an it was like a stock x pipe and then the new one i have now is an h pipe and i do recognize the difference from 2000 to 3000 rpm where it's a little bit more deeper compared to what it was with the X pipe and the X pipe I originally had on the car again that was stock sound a little bit more raspy as you increase in the RPM range while this one's a little bit more deeper and it sounds a little bit more quieter and that's kind of what I was aiming for all at the same time too I didn't want something that was going to be insanely loud rolling down the road I just wanted something that was going to be a little bit more tame a little bit more calm but a little bit more aggressive all at the same time and I feel like I'm missing one part and that is definitely the muffler now I don't want to get rid of the muffler because I actually really like the muffler I have now but there was like one thing I was thinking about in my head that would kind of make up to where I can have a nice sounding muffler to when I start the car up in the morning. It's not going to wake up all my neighbors, but also at the same time too, have a loud enough car where I can have fun with that's not overly obnoxious. And I thought about maybe exhaust cutouts after the H pipe. I'm not 100% sure if I want to go that route or not, but that might be a good route to go to be able to retain the mufflers and also at the same time too, be able to have fun when I want it. But yeah, my friends ended up realizing it was kind of hard for me as a daily driver to be able to really recognize the difference from the exhaust tones. I, I realize it more slightly as the days have gone by because I wanted to wait a couple days to record this part for you guys just so i can really get a brief grasp on what i was really experiencing with this exhaust but my friends ended up experiencing it pretty quickly saying that it did sound a little bit deeper than the last one did before because the x pipe made it a little bit more raspy compared to the h pipe that made it a little bit more deeper i ended up realizing around the 2000 to 3000 rpm range when pushing on the gas it made it a little bit more tame a little bit more deeper but not like this v8 sound that you're expecting to hear when you throw an h pipe on so obviously if you want to get a v8 you're gonna have to throw a v8 and the h pipe's not going to make you get that v8 sound it's just not going to happen it's a v6 and it's going to make that tinny sound no matter what but there's ways that you can go around making it to where it's less tinny less raspy and i definitely feel that h pipe really helped with that and really tamed the exhaust 
to be able to sound a little bit more deeper. Now, I definitely feel with those exhaust cutouts I was talking to you guys about earlier, I definitely feel I could have fun with it if I wanna turn it on or off, if I wanna make it more louder, cracklier, so forth and so forth. If I wanna start up the car in the morning, it's not gonna be overly loud, but also at the same time too, if I'm driving on the road, I could have fun with it. Now I'm gonna do my research on it. I don't know if I'm gonna go that route or not, but it definitely seems like an option I can go to where I, where I can have fun with the best of both worlds. Other than that, I wanna say thank you guys all so much for watching today's video. I wanna say I've been getting a lot of positive reinforcement, a lot of positive feedback from everybody in the comment section, people who are subscribing, people who are watching the videos. I realize that the channel has increased I, you know, I wouldn't say drastically, but it has increased a little bit over the past couple months. So I want to say thank you to each and every single one of you who have participated in that. It's kind of a weird word to say, I guess, participating. I don't know, but engaging. That's a better way of putting it. Engaging in every single one of these videos or at least one video because it uh, just being able to like think about it in just like broad terms, like for people who are out there that, you know, you have a whole life to live and like each minute that you have is valuable. Even if you realize it or not, it's valuable. And for you to be able to spend one minute, 30 seconds, two seconds, or even a whole video to watch the dumb shit that I'm doing or just be able just to be able to learn and grasp onto what I'm doing and have fun with it and enjoy the time that I had not just with myself, with the car or even my friends, and be able to grasp on that moment with me is awesome. So again, thank you guys all so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one.